Okay. Hi, everybody. Rick Hinder here. Um, we uh, decided to take a break out of our busy day. We're getting ready for Blade Show right now, Blade Show 16, and um, it's crazy around here. Um, we got tons of projects. We got lots of new products in the accessory area, a lot of new, uh, we got what, three, I think three new models of knives that we're going to be bringing out. Um, I'm going to have um, some uh, half tracks, custom half tracks, MP1s. The MP1s is going to debut our uh, new Hinder Modular Backspacer system. And uh, the, the uh, purpose of this video right now is to explain what is that. Uh, we kind of debuted it. We put it up on Facebook. We've been getting a lot of uh, great response from it, and we've been getting a lot of questions. What is it? What, do it do? what does it do? Is it different? Um, so I'm going to I'm going to answer. I'm going to explain it in depth. I'm going to answer a lot of these questions, and um, so uh, everybody knows exactly what it is because it is something a little bit different, but it it carries the same name as something that's been used in folding knives for. Uh, I don't know, 100 years probably, and that's called the backspacer. Uh, and I'll explain what a backspacer is, and with my system of the Hinder Modular Backspacer system, what does it do different? Um, a little bit of background. Um, for, for years, I have been developing products, developing knives, that, and engineering them and designing them, that the end user can be able to take them apart and put different accessories in them, kind of make it their own, which is our mantra. Your knife, your hinder, make it your own. And for years, the XM18 exemplifies that. Uh, we make uh, different backspacers, or, or on the backspacer system now, but uh, standoffs um, uh, from all of our steel flame accessories, tons of stuff that you can be able to customize your knife with. Uh, and so what I did from that, concept of make it your own is I wanted to come up with a way that the end user can be able to put different tools into their knife without actually taking the knife apart. Because as you know, when you, when you uh, change out um, um, tube spacers or standoffs as I call them, you have to take the knife apart, take the screws out of the handle and put these uh, in there, which a lot of people don't mind doing that at all, um, but it takes a little bit of time. So I want to come up with a way that we can be able to take and put tools in and out, different things from uh, a lanyard to a glass breaker to a, uh, a, a bottle opener. I got a bottle opener coming out to a, a bunch of different uh, things. I mean, the, the, the sky's the limit what we can do. The reason is, is because you can be able to take this in and out of your knife uh, without taking it apart, which is cool because it only takes seconds to do, and I'll, I'll kind of go over that. So, um, so that's kind of where I, my premise of coming up with something like that. So to give kind of a refresher, I'm sure all of you know what a backspacer is. This is, this knife is actually a one of my really old, early um, custom uh, tactical folders. And um, I, the reason why I pulled it up is because back then I was making solid backspacers uh, for my folders. And what that is, is as you see, there's a piece of material, uh, in this case is stainless, that makes, that creates that space for the blade to fall into the handle case. So it actually is what binds and holds the knife together. That's why we call it a backspacer. So this backspacer, again, it's, it's solid and thousands and thousands of knives have been made with a solid backspacer. When I started making my tactical folders probably 20 years ago, I, uh, they were all made like this with a solid backspacer. Well then I wanted to go with something and, and I certainly wasn't the first that came up with the standoff idea. Um, but I like the idea of an open back knife. And so a lot of you are familiar with a lot of my knives. This happens to be my new half track. A lot of you are familiar with the open back as it's completely open in the back. So we use pillars or standoffs or spa tube spacers. A lot of guys call them different names. And I like that idea because when I was on the fire department and running EMS, I, I needed to be able to clean my knife out. And this was a great way to be able to clean the inside of the knife out really easy. You run water through it and it goes all the way through it. So this is where most all of my knives are now. They all use the standoffs or the tube spacers. 
So now to come uh, uh, from that up to my new um, patent pending Hinder Modular Backspacer system. And what is it and what makes it different? I've got a couple different attachments. And what these are, I call them backspacers but honestly, they, they do not function as a backspacer like this, and I'll explain this to you. What these are, these are like, like tools, like little tools that you can put in, in your knife. As you can see, this is a lanyard one. These are actually for the XM18. Uh, I developed them for the MP1, Modular Platform 1, but I went ahead and went forward and uh, made them retrofitable into the XM18. You have to change uh, into a special tube spacer, which I'll show you, but other than that, they're retrofitable. So how does this work? What makes it different? This is the biggest thing that makes it different, and I'll kind of go, I'll take one in and take it out and show you exactly how you do that. Well, what I want to do now is actually uh, um, uh, take you step-by-step step through the process of changing out the HMBS. Um, so this is how this is this is the uh, an extra uh, part that we have here. Um, this is the lanyard option for the HMBS. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change out in this XM18. I have a what we call the plane, the plane attachment. So all you have to do is we take. and loosen up the set screw. And as you can see, this pops right out. And as you can see, the knife has your two special standoffs. And the knife is, an, is a working knife. Nothing was taken apart. It's still the same knife. In fact, you can carry this knife if you would like a completely open back knife. You can carry this knife just like this because it has the standoffs like a regular um, XM18 or a lot of other tactical knives and regular knives out there uh, have, which, which is the standoffs or tube spacers. So say you want to, uh, you don't like this lanyard option and you want a different type of a backward, a, a more of a, a backward lanyard option or back towards the back end of the knife. So what I came up with this attachment, and what I'll do is I decided I want to put this in. So all you, you merely hook this, that standoff, Rotate it down, slide it in, take your Allen wrench, and we will snug that down. Now we have the same knife with a new attachment on the back of it, which is the lanyard, in this kind of configuration. So it kind of looks like a, a, a solid backspacer. But again, it's really not, as you can see, it's not a backspacer in the same sense as that is a solid backspacer. So, say I want to go back to uh, a, a regular attachment, or we're going to have a whole different variety of attachments. We've got one in the works that is a uh, window punch. We've got one in the works that is a bottle opener and oh, tons of other options. I'm sure all of you watching this can kind of see all the different options that's available with this type of system. And again, uh, I'm going to demonstrate with what I call my cutaway view. So everybody out there can see kind of what makes this different. Okay, imagine this knife in this configuration. We want to change out the backspacer or tool. We simply loosen the set screw, and as you can see, it pops right out. And we have, as you can see, this, this, the standoffs are still there. Nothing has been done to take the knife apart. There's been no screws loosened up anything. So to change it back out, oh, let's, let's put this copper one in. That would look kind of cool on this. We did simply put it over the special made standoffs and we snug it down. And that's it. So I hope you all find this uh, video informative. I'm excited about the new uh, uh, 
hinder modular backspacer system. It's going to make take it to the next level of modularity as far as dressing up your knife, making your knife, your hinder, your own. Um, we're going to have tons of steel flame, um, uh, different uh, things that we're going to do with steel flame um, with all oh, skulls on the back, you name it. Uh, the sky's the limit. You're only limited by your imagination. So I hope you all have a good time with it. And if you have any questions, feel free to uh, email us.